Three years. We've come so far in just three short years. A sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes, by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> what is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business!
Poseidon. You'll need to choose between light and heavy strikes to match the situation. Take self repair units from your foes to replenish your own supply. Trident, the limo is in trouble. Get back there, ASAP! I'll add the limo to your solid down radar. Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him... dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer? <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long.
There! Get him! Use your ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. Headed your way. Keep an eye out for it. Prime Minister! Ha! Huh. Too little too late, hero. I won't be needing my little seal here any longer. Speeches about that. Jobs, technology, oh. a common purpose. Uh. Raiden, forget me. Stop him. You ain't listening. I got in? All we're saying... Give war a chance! No! Be shy. 
die. Yeah. Hmm. Self-taught. And not half bad. Still. <laughs> Your technique lacks something. Ah, now I see. You deny your weapon its purpose. It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. So good. I've got a clean visual. 
At the next beat, you're optic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikul? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out and closing. Nobody no activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. No. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. You landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have questions. are using stealth camo to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To parry incoming hits, throw out your own battle. Right, whenever you engage in battle, I will designate a battle area for you. Stay within the area to avoid collateral damage. your film with this body I could take these guys with no eyes 
Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Raiden, we are clear on the rules of engagement, yes? Clear enough. I can use deadly force against any hostile element. Hostile cyborgs, I can strike first. Basically, yes. The actual rules of engagement is more specific. A long list of no's. But you have the idea. You want to recap the highlights for me? <sighs> no weapons prohibited by international treaty. No use of force against non-combatants. Especially officials or anyone with political power who may be needed for negotiations. No use of force against any unarmed hostile seeking to surrender. And no use of force against any non-cyborg combatants without prior verbal warning. And that includes Dolzaev? Duh, but this should not be a problem. Any non-cyborg is little threat to you, Dolzaev included. Besides, we have no signs of any non-cyborg hostiles anywhere in the area. Not even one. We think Dolsaev is working alone with Desperado here. In any case, there is the ROE. Otherwise, deadly force is authorized only in clear case of self-defense. So basically, civilians off-limits, human hostiles verbal warning, hostile cyborgs, anything goes. Yes, this is a conventional warfare scenario, so the rules are based on the Hague Convention. Yeah, sounds pretty standard. Still good to list out all the no-nos before things get too hairy. ROEs that only specify who you can engage require too much judgment. They make it harder to remain focused on battle. Duh. This is why most military's ROEs list negatives, not positives. The few that take the other approach? I pity their soldiers the questions they face. Oh, and for our purposes, UGs are considered the same as hostile cyborgs. Copy that. We have no rules about property damage, but uh, keep it minimal, yes? It just makes us look bad. Anything standing in your way, trees, streetlights, this is fine. But there's no reason to damage civilian homes, or to go snooping around in them. Goes without saying. Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself. <laughs> Prototype LQ84I. IF prototype. 
Interface prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high-level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! How we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio-visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. Here you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <laughs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you, and move on. You're right. Thanks. Let's go over everything we have on Desperado. Roger that. Let's see here. Desperado Enforcement LLC. Registered in the U.S., Delaware. Makes sense. The U.S. doesn't regulate PMCs too closely. Looks like almost all of their actual business is handled outside the states, though. Says here their financials are handled by a separate company based in St. Kitts and Nevis. The preferred tax haven of megacorps everywhere. 
probably why they incorporated in Delaware in the first place. Loose tax laws. Funneling it all through the Caribbean must help with the money laundering, though. There's still a lot we don't know about them, but they've definitely been starting a lot of fires lately. They're a PMC in name only. <laughs> what a name it is. Guess War Profiteers Incorporated was taken. But that's their business. In a nutshell, target war-torn nations on the road to peace. Reignite conflicts and walk off with all the cash that was earmarked for reconstruction. And they also have ties to the drug trade, human trafficking. Sounds like a real class act. Just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. Raiden, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from C's nano paste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, the repair process is a bit more uh, involved. A bit more uh, messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? Right in. The cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. 
Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. I wanted to follow up on our talk earlier about the stress that comes with the job. PMC work can be traumatic, even for non-combatants. If the pressure ever gets to be too much, have one of the ex-military there take over. Just... I'm not doing that, Raiden. PMCs wield massive influence over international affairs. Abolishing SOP didn't change that. They need a better understanding of what they're mixed up in. The laws, politics, local cultures. Ex-military aren't here to provide that. They can't. We need civilian voices like mine here, too. You're right. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'd now be the world's clumsiest cyborg. Hey! Cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I might have saved your ass. How? By spilling coffee all over the enemy? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not that... Oh, son of a... Please tell me that was a joke. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. <sighs> but I butchered those fuckers. What? My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq. In Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino. One after another, not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them.
Got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully, anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go.
había allí. ¿No? ¿Un cyborg? Ese sombrero. ¿Qué? Get started. Your mission's to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <sighs> This just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers. So, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Can't believe Dolzai have blew himself up. Pretty common terror tactic. You don't usually see the leaders doing it, though. It's one thing to get your flock pumped up on the glory of dying for the cause, but it's not often they actually go through with it themselves. You gotta have a public face, after all. The guy who gets to claim responsibility on the evening news. In a weird way, Dolzayev showed some serious dedication. Not that I'm about to praise him for it. Yeah, still a terrorist. A suicide bomber in the end. If that's what you want to call him. Still, he kind of failed at it. How so? Well, all that explosion did was put a dent in Abkhazia's budget. More Russia's, really. They're the ones rebuilding the refinery. The coup didn't work out. He couldn't overthrow the government. He was barely a blip on Russia's radar. So, you're saying the bombing didn't accomplish any of his goals? He did it just because he was cornered? Sounds more like just plain suicide. Yeah. Probably wanted to end things with his own hands. Like a samurai committing harakiri. Still not something to be commended for, though. Yeah. Lumping him in with true warriors like the samurai just gives them a bad name.
¿Estás bien? ¿Qué dices? Oh. Mea Guyanese, from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah, I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Mi name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them Skunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe live on the street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this good need dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scone don't put me on a rass boat. They pack us all a pickable doji container. Next thing we know, we're here at that zombie lab. All kids? Like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them scone wanna do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. It's shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man, same as you. <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah. Me done plenty bad thing, but me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, I would his brain would get cut out. Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, <laughs> I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dumped the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a Sentry Cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find the server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of that technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. I can't believe what they're doing in there. Guess I shouldn't be so surprised, huh? Guess not. Are you gonna help them? No other choice. I'll try to help look for some place that might take them in. Thanks.
is over. For now, yeah. But that room... Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. Raiden, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs, guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner. The Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. You definitely seem familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. Any idea who the guy in the suit is, Boris? No. I feel like maybe I have seen him before. But I am not so up-to-date on US news like Kevin. Um, isn't that kind of stuff important, given the business you're in? And Maverick's based in Nevada. I know you're only there a few times a year, but still. This is why I have staff in America. Excellent workers. They run place for me. No questions asked. That's not really what I'm talking about, Boris. 
bad news, Raiden. We can't find George. What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. You ever see the guy in the suit before? I am sorry. No. Nothing in your database? I have no database, Raiden. The symbol grounding capabilities of my neuro AI allow me to identify faces in only the vaguest of terms. I can judge whether I think I may have seen him before, but I do not have the accuracy of a database. Well, that's ridiculous. You're an AI. An AI modeled after the human brain, and thus as flexible and occasionally vague as any human's. Of this man, however, I have no recollection. I do not believe I have encountered him before. Most likely. Oh, man. Ah, an artificial blood cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. Who had best hurry, Raiden. Right. Chloroform? I'm pulling anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos! Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out! Surrender! Or decide the needs of the many for the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George. Are you sure? Huh? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ting. What if we can take this scunt to hell with me? Cállate! <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Stop it! Now! I'll kill him, I swear! President Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farooq Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. 
Yo, me ninja brother. George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, nah. No pain, no more for star while them hunger space eat. And me never ever feel so awake, nah. That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh, me been here you go while I got them scone in the base. Why the rasa you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aww. Besides, I thought she didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, Ryder. They import those brains legally. For medical purposes, it's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Right. I... Hold that thought. Cyborg, you are not licensed to operate in this area. You're in violation of state and federal law. Guess you'd better arrest me then. <laughs> 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 Eighteen three one zero four point seven, threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. Get off! 
trust you do not mind my telling George about you, Raiden. Could have done without that, Doc. He didn't need to know I was here. Well, there was no reason to conceal that from him. My intention was not to impugn you. He has a right to know. It's not as if he can simply fly over there and meddle in your affairs. It's throwing off my emotional balance, Doc. Things like that can negatively impact the mission, you know? However do you mean? You did the right thing, did you not? There's nothing to be ashamed of. <sighs> George has the best body we can give him right now. And the rest of the children are also safe. And quite content too, I should add. It was your quick decision-making that saved them, Raiden. George's body will require regular maintenance, not to mention a replacement upon reaching adult age. But the expense is more than worth it. You planning on signing him up with a PMC? Because that's the only job we're good for, far as I can tell. Oh, you are quite mistaken there. Just consider it. The power of a machine matched with the nimbleness and creativity of a human. The construction and public works possibilities alone are endless. I saw a news piece on German TV just the other day about a cyborg plumber, in fact. Let's not forget about elder care, either. One needs great strength to bathe and care for the bedridden. But it's also very delicate work, if you follow. Not the sort of thing you'd leave to a machine. Sounds great. So long as we don't start replacing the old folks' bodies, too. Just because they're old. <laughs> a valid concern, yes. I recall reading a comic like that once. An old farmer created a cybernetic body to fight evil military scientists and so on. Uh, yeah. But can't George do anything besides physical labor, though? Oh, he has every right to choose another path. If he opts not to take advantage of his body's physical strength, he's free to pursue academia instead. His body provides a completely ideal chemical environment for his brain, after all. I can certainly see how that would prove handy in the realm of higher education. The only problem would be how to cover the costs. The issue of student loan debt in the U.S. is thorny enough already, even for normal students. Yeah. All this stuff's not just George's problem, though. All the other brains I'm gonna rescue will have to deal with it, too. Giving them bodies won't be the end of their problems. It'll be the beginning. Indeed. On a happier note, though, excellent work in bringing George's lower body back. Now he'll very likely be able to produce children in the future. Bravo! Raiden, what's your status? They trashed my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Do you really have to do this? Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? Raiden. Boris, listen to me. That VR training, they'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. It'll be one atrocity after another. Hmm. Like what you went through. We can't have any more Jack the Rippers. You saw what happened with George. I'm doing this, Boris. I have to. I can't save those kids from becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. Say so you succeed. So you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know un great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor, but he cannot... You won't change my mind, Boris. This is my fight now. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Rose would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> All right, damn you. You do realize Marshall has the contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then. <clears throat> Officially, Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the asshole. Now, increase your codec encryption. Do not worry about the lag. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiba, Tavarich. Spasiba. Your earlier actions were reckless, Raiden. Not to mention the damage to a perfectly good car. I knew the risks when I decided to go through with this. Besides, the car was mine. Maverick sold it to me. It's not meant for private use. It was made for ops like this. Regardless, your approach has proven most antagonistic. You are now a criminal, a public enemy, a police-killing vigilante. 
Even if your actions reveal World Marshal's designs, you will be unable to avoid legal punishment. Probably not. But that's a price I'll have to pay. I gotta stop that VR program and get those kids back. I sealed my fate the second I attacked George. But George is not dead. In fact, he has obtained an even more versatile body than his previous one. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me. I was a child soldier in Liberia, like Miss Troll said. I was a mentally deranged child. People feared me, called me Jack the Ripper. A result of the so-called Sears program. I thought I'd left it all in the past. But just like that, Jack came roaring back. This is why you are so driven to terminate the VR training. I... I understand. I will continue to cooperate. Copy that. Doc, what's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and World Marshal security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to override their plans. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data! The research! Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. The railroad. It would appear so, likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. Raiden, it would appear your only way forward is to return to the surface. You will exit into an evacuated commercial district. Security is heavy, but you need not worry about collateral damage when engaging the enemy. About time. Finally, I can cut loose. Proceed to the right from the exit. You will find a stairway on your right. Those stairs lead to a shortcut to World Marshal Headquarters. Do not be distracted by the advertisements. You are not here as a tourist. Sure. I'll just buy a quick souvenir or two for Rose and that'll be it. Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining. I uh, trust you're not still upset, Raiden. About telling George about me? Look, let's just drop it, okay? Gladly! I'm just glad I was able to assist you with operating the cryopreserver anyway. I know, Doc. Not that it's so difficult. Was that type you simply immerse the organs in the artificial plasma inside? Yeah? I wouldn't think it was so easy to keep organs alive. How's it work anyway? Oh, it's quite simple, really. It uses chilled nanomachine-infused artificial plasma. That suppresses the metabolism and regulates the oxygen intake of whatever is stored inside. The nanomachines are fully self-pumping. 
Once hemoglobin is detected in the local environment, they release a flow of plasma into the organ where the body's original plasma is still present. When George's body was inserted into the storage cabin, artificial blood, chilled nearly to freezing point, automatically flowed in at the points of amputation. This dropped the internal temperature of the parts from 36 to 10 degrees centigrade. The result? The effective suppression of all metabolic activity. The plasma was also fine-tuned to keep the SpO2 level inside the organs at 90% or above. The synergetic effect of all this allowed the brain to reach the regenerative treatment facility quickly, before any cell tissue was damaged at least. A most effective device, I must say. A micro gas turbine engine enables it to operate completely autonomously as a standalone unit. Would have been tough to lug over to the hospital otherwise. Truly state of the art indeed. I suspect it cost as much as a well stocked emergency ambulance. At the risk of speaking inappropriately, this group certainly knows how to use its budget. Guess I should be glad these guys have got so much money to throw around. Isn't this all a bit much? Any decent lunatic would have quit after Mexico. Jetstream Sam. I heard you drop the lab director in half. Old habits die hard, eh, Jack? But now here you are. The child soldier. Fighting for the children. <laughs> Please. What do you really expect to accomplish here? Play savior to a bunch of brains? And what? Earn a medal? Think about it, Jack. No matter how many Mexican kids we've got, or Africans we bury, the first world looks away. No one gives a shit. Not the media, not the politicians, certainly not the average Joe. Too busy fretting for money, or sex, religion, fame. is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their PMC contract. Usually, they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear-inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. Something the 
matter, Raiden? <laughs> Established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. Raiden, your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. Raiden, are you okay? Hampshire plays dirty. No, he's right. The cyborgs who signed on with Desperado and World Marshal, most of them had no other choice. No one put a gun to their heads, but they were screwed to begin with. Their contracts worked completely against them. Still... I knew all that, but hearing those voices, it hit me hard. I guess I was just kidding myself the whole time. Still, there's nothing you could have done for them. But those children... I'll get him back. Raiden, I... I just wish I could do more from here. It's all right, Courtney. Sometimes just having someone to talk to is good enough. I'm happy to help.
Not so black and white now, is it? Is your cause just? Or is that just what you tell yourself? Fuck you! How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon, of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah, I guessed as much. on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Pen taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up on the killer creeds. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something greater. Means. The DNA of the soul. They shape our will. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair. All the means of the long past. How about full of shit? Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! Oh. The bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my 
pain inhibitors. What? This... this is madness! You... Do it! All right.
Biden? I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. Think about what Monsoon said earlier about memes. You think we're all doomed to follow some coded in routine? That there's no free will? Well, you're always gonna have restraints based on what culture you're born into. The concept of memes was first proposed by Richard Dawkins in a book called The Selfish Gene. Dawkins, a biologist, stated that even if the actions of a living thing appear to be altruistic, each of its genes is still engaging in selfish behavior, purely as a matter of survival. Yeah. I heard about that. He went on to define memes as a different kind of self-replicating unit. They're the genes of a culture, from fashion to chord progressions in music, even political expression. And just like normal genes, they replicate. They grow, infecting more and more people. You buy a shirt you like and put it on. Other people see you wearing it, then buy it for themselves. Yeah, the genes of a culture makes it all sound pretty lofty. But the way Dawkins puts it, memes can also transmit worthless things, even the bad parts of a culture. Fashion's one thing, but value-related memes can put huge restraints on people's lives. For example, the idea that having lots of money is the ultimate goal, the thing we should all strive for. <laughs> like in the U.S. Any capitalist country, really. But anyway, you catch this money-worship meme, then not only are you trying to get rich, you're also spreading that idea to other people. You have to. If that meme isn't the cultural norm, then what are you working for? So you start spreading the word about how important it is to succeed, earn status. Right. And the really contagious memes can be even worse. For example, revenge. A guy sees his countrymen killed by terrorism, so he becomes a terrorist and retaliates. It's an infinite loop. I think it's the same thing with child soldiers. Kids' parents are killed by other kids. So they join the war next and start killing other people's parents. There's gotta be a way to break the cycle, though. Dawkins wrote about that, too. How we can rebel against our genes and memes. Once you're aware of your own memes, you can train yourself to identify and replicate the good ones. And kill the bad ones. Right. Well, that starts with me stopping this VR shit. The Sears program's one hell of a bad meme machine. Raiden, shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs. But you, well, your past is most, uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. They're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes? They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy! You do not have to fight every enemy you encounter, right? Crank, keep moving!
Meister of Sense Blow open the door for me, yeah? <laughs> Idiots. Spiders in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Right away is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. Courtney. Uh, yeah? You caught all that. Guess I was Jack the Ripper all along. All that talk about justice. And here I am. Just another killer. Raiden. Listen. I want you off this mission. You don't have to go through this. Kevr Doc can handle saving for me. Raiden, I, I don't want... It's my responsibility to stop them before they make another Jack. It's my duty. No one else's. That's the way it is. Live by the battlefield. Die by the battlefield. Raiden, listen. Courtney. This isn't the place for you. Keep working with me, and you're gonna wind up someplace dark. Uh, I, I'm fine with that. What? They... they're kidnapping kids. They're ripping their bodies, tearing up their souls to make soldiers. I feel like they have to pay for this. If I just quit here, how would I live with myself? Courtney. I mean, maybe I'd be happier going back to school, getting my MBA, making six figures. But now I know. I've seen the truth. And I can't just forget it. Maybe I can't do what you can, but come on. At least I can handle your data. I... All right. Follow the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that 
is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Well, Boris, that's Jack. What did you think? I read that only one in 50 soldiers can kill with zero hesitation. Guess I'm a two percenter, huh? <laughs> I know what they went through, yeah. But I sure as hell didn't let it stop me. No. I guess not. Regular guys. They couldn't handle it. All the blood and body parts. The fear and dying eyes. Me, though. I like it. A lot. No hesitation. No regrets. Maybe it's in my blood. Maybe it's the Sears program. Probably both. The younger you learn a thing, the better you retain it, you know? I remember Liberia like it was yesterday. All the abuse. The threats at gunpoint. Next thing I know, I'm getting off on cutting guys to shreds. Raiden. But afterwards... Afterwards it was tough. Especially once I got to the U.S. I got counseling. An education. But every time I talked with someone normal, I felt like all the killing I'd done was gonna crush me. And it didn't stop. Not in my dreams, anyway. I'd hear voices at night, calling out all my crimes. But I couldn't shut them out. The rest of my crew adapted to American life well enough. But I... I never could. Hmm. And it returns only now. I've always known you have, uh dark part in your mind. Perhaps I should not have hired you at all. Perhaps you should not be near Battlefield. The hell with that. If I hadn't signed up, I wouldn't be here to help put an end to this. I gotta do what I can to stop that VR training. I'm not the only one suffering. I need to do this for my old friends. The boys back in Liberia who didn't survive. I survived all the killing, thrived on it, but the experience destroyed them. Duh. Sorry. I better get moving. Shh. Don't disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, Running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it. Give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulate it to perform in all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you?
say you bring this whole place down? Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just manage the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11! What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. This Jack, we can play up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful.
What happens in three hours? He'll launch Operation Tecumseh. Who? Armstrong? I've already said too much. I have a call to make. <laughs> Got yourself shaving? Raiden here. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry! Raiden, what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The War on Terror Part 2. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels will take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevazmuzhna! Impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus. Cargo's all set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. This kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Karman line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! Strong enough to take out the drone. Here they come. I'll handle this. I didn't. Have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny.
Bring the chopper around. My friend, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are all right. What? It's time you got out of Denver. Raiden, are you all right? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it. So, uh, you want to fill me in on your plans for later? My plans for later? <laughs> Are you making dinner reservations? <laughs> well, there is this new sushi joint I've been meaning to check out. But, oh, right. I guess you're going to be kind of busy over in Pakistan, aren't you? You certainly seem in a good mood, at least. Well, uh, can't be a proper action hero without a joke or two. Yeah, well, I wouldn't quit your day job. <laughs> Look, we've all got our coping mechanisms, I guess. Ask any soldier. A little levity can work wonders when you're facing death. Doesn't really matter if it's funny or not. If it helps you and your buddies relax, then it helps. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Forget about it. Okay, I got a joke for you then. Three tomatoes are walking down the street, and they go- <laughs> I've heard this one, Courtney. And thanks for the thought, but I'll be fine. <sighs> All right. Well, anyway, so you're headed for Solus first? Yeah, Solus Space and Aeronautics. It's a private space outfit. Ever since NASA opened up spaceflight to commercial companies, it's become a pretty crowded market. And that's where Sunny works? You got it. Fortunately, it's not too far from here. They got their start doing Air Force Space Command work for the Peterson Air Force Base nearby. Two years ago, though, they built their own spaceport and moved to their current location. Glad to hear they're close. Boris is getting in contact now. You just focus on getting out of Denver. Copy that. You have escaped the pursuit? Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. That should do nicely.
Everything okay on your side? I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on the radar. Good. I'm almost there. Fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer. You're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. This is between us. here. Okay. Let's dance! Just do a knee, Jack. figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT-7 high-frequency blade 
The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My vial indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. Mr. Ryden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! <laughs> Hi there, stranger. Hey. You're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Shake? <laughs> good boy! <laughs> uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. hybrid lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition!
Well, anything? Nothing. You sure we got the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. How was the ride? Hey, Sonny. Fine, thanks. Though I wouldn't call it the smoothest ride ever. You sure that thing's really airworthy? Well... Well, what do you expect? You're traveling at a few dozen times the speed of sound. I mean, she operates well within all the projected margins of safety, so, yes. We'll have to work on the turbulence levels a bit before we can take tourists on it. But, come on, you really can't complain. So, it's meant mainly for cargo at the moment? Mm-hmm. We got a contract with COTS, NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. Mostly handling space deliveries, that kind of thing. We also joined the C-3PO, the Commercial Crew and Cargo Program Office's Passenger Transport Program. So soon we'll have private spacecraft bringing crew to the International Space Station. Wild times we're living in. Well, the space race has been over for decades now. It's no longer something countries engage in for vanity's sake. Still, lots of people are starting to see the industrial value of zero-gravity experiments. Plus, the costs are getting lower and lower with each passing year. To the point where we'll have a serious space tourism industry before long. Yeah. I heard about the space hotel the Russians opened up. But we're still not going any further than orbit, right? Well, one company's planning to have a lunar landing craft complete by 2020. Not ours, though. I'm just hoping we can get to Jupiter while Hal's still alive. Jupiter, huh? Wow, that's pretty far. Oh, hey! How did Earth look from up there? I... Can't even put it into words. I know I was still under the Carmen line, but it looked exactly like every satellite photo of Earth I've ever seen. No borders, no nothing, just a whole lot of blue. Hopefully next time around I can take my time and enjoy it. Yeah. But first things first, you know? Yep. Well, good luck, Jack. Right in. Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Ryder, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they... The 
story leaked early, then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message.
<laughs> Slippery little bastard! I don't have time for this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Let's go! The hell are you thinking? <laughs> Played college ball, you know. That's some cushy Ivy League school. <laughs> Join the Navy. I'm not one of those beltway pansies. I could break the president in two with my bare hands. Don't fuck with this, Senator. What the hell are you? Why don't you stick around and find out? <laughs> what? Nice, nice. <laughs> Capital and votes. Want to know why? I have a dream. What? That one day every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual. Not the other way around. Oh. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 Where every man is free to think, to act for himself! Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America is diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. 
We need to pull it out by the roots. <coughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! <coughs> and from the ashes, a new America will be born! <coughs> Evolve, but unchanged! <coughs> the weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! <laughs> so I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! What do you think? Uh, how the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. Shit insane! Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the wheat, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours.
nanomachine son. They harden in response to physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> What did I just say? Time to end this. Save your master. <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. You little fuck. Dance. 
for your family? But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated... Unbelievable. After all that. For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden... There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. 
We're not running a charity here, huh? <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> huh? <No. laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> oops. An imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kidding. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny! Where you have this then? Hang on, just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. The same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? <laughs> Alert! Alert! Rescinded! <laughs> <laughs> this is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja! Me never think I've been this kind of life! Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The right and I know is a hero. And how's business? Oh, good, good. Their doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well. You cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> now, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So... Your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then... What will you do? <laughs> I've got my own war to fight. <laughs>